Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. And I'm Andrew Taws. And Willie, this is basically our equivalent of Shark Week on Outdoors Del Marva. That's because we get to go out and tag sharks for research with Captain Mark Sampson. Yeah, it's always pretty interesting <laughs> and a lot of fun. But this year's trip had a unique story all its own. Keep the life jackets under the cushion on the right hand side, down below. We're aboard the Fish Finder in Ocean City with Captain Mark Sampson and a trio of seasoned anglers who will be doing a little more than fishing for sharks on this foggy morning. They'll be helping with research as well as we set off on our journey out to the area known as the Fingers about 20 or so miles off the coast. We'll give you a spoiler alert. We're going to catch a lot of sharks today and these guys know what they're doing. As the sun struggles to break through the mist and Nate the mate Lang gets ready for a day of sharking, we're treated to the sight of a rare white rainbow, which we take as a sign of good luck. The researchers who were supposed to join us today backed out because of the unpredictable weather, so that means the anglers will be playing dual roles. Researchers who have <laughs> invested the money in these tags have, are confident, I guess, enough with our abilities that they're allowing us to go solo on it when we have to. If you guys are, are up for it, you could help, and it would help us too if, if, if we can like give everybody a task. So I'm going to guess that really probably is. just because yesterday we caught uh, 12 sandbar sharks. Uh, it was like almost every 15 minutes there's another one. So that's, I'm going to guess that's going to be the first thing that we catch. So we'll have a good, you know, a trial run on that before we hopefully find our makos. Our targeted species for the more sophisticated satellite tags will be mako sharks. And because of overfishing, shark charters are now placing emphasis on catch and release along with data collection. Circle hooks with blocker rigs will be used to help minimize injury to the animal. And in addition to our chum bucket, we'll put out high and low baits to attract the sharks. There we go. And we don't have to wait long before Tim Hen of Millsboro, Delaware hooks into our first of the day. This small sandbar shark will be good practice for the crew. Just be ready in case he decides to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ready, Mr. Tim? Yep. 44, 48, 60. Oh, that was sweet. It's oxytetracycline, which is an antibiotic that has a side effect to it that it will stain the vertebrae of the shark. Um, and there's an ongoing research project where they're trying to learn how they can measure the vertebrae of any shark and determine the age. Only thing I need is an estimated weight. We're at 40 pounds. 40 pounds, good enough. By the time we get back to the dock, it'll be 50, and when you get home, it'll be 70. Uh, every year I go out with Mark about once a year, at least, and I've been doing it for like 30 years. It always feels good to get the skunk off. <laughs> Yay! One down. That was a good drill. He's on it. Funky McAllister is up next, and it looks like he's hooked up to another sandbar. That's about it. So for every shark we get, we collect a lot of information. We record the time of the catch, the water temperature, the species of the shark. We take three different measurements off them. We estimate the weight, determine the sex, male or female, a tag number if we tag them. We indicate whether we've injected them with the, the tetracycline. Some of it gets sent off to National Marine Fisheries. Some of it gets sent to specific researchers. And then a lot of it is just available for future studies. Oh, buddy. Now we're waiting on that first maker. That's what we want, up. what everybody wants to see. And after Steve White hooks into yet another sandbar, we don't have to wait long for our first mako. Mako, is it? That's our boy. Gone. All right, maybe he'll come back on another bait. Yeah, maybe next time. Hopefully the next one will stay on the line. But he's hungry, and this time, there it is. There it is. There. we got him. Oh, we got fish on here too. 
Marty, we got double. What? We got double. double. You know what the other one is? No. No. You know that this one's a making. Yeah, this one's a making. We're going to focus on this. Yeah. And oh, that one will just keep it the at last, we have the Mako we've been looking for, but this day is far from over.